IPVanish has been a popular VPN provider for quite some time now. But what makes it so appealing? Is it only because it's cheap? In this IPVanish tutorial and review, I'll find out the exact reasons why and guide you on how to use it too. So stay tuned. Let's quickly cover the basics first. How do you get IPVanish and install it on your device? Getting IPVanish is really simple. All you need to do is scan the QR code on screen or click the link in the description and enjoy a heavy discount. By the way, IPVanish allows unlimited simultaneous connections, so you can download it on all of your devices. Once you click the link in the description or scan the QR code, you'll land on the same page I'm on right here. As you can see, we're presented with two cheap subscription options, Essential and Advanced. I chose the Advanced plan because it covers more features, but even the Essential one includes an ad blocker for around $2 a month. I'd recommend doing the same since you'll have a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can test IPVanish with no strings attached. All that's left to do now is choose your payment method, fill in the details, and we'll be set to install the app. Now that we've got the subscription, we can install the app, but first we need to download it. Since I'm on Windows, I click the corresponding link and wait until the download is done. By the way, the installation is just as simple on other devices like Mac too. Once the app is installed, all that's left to do is log in with your email and the password you created when purchasing the subscription. Congrats, we're finished with the IPVanish setup. Let's take a quick look at the user interface. I like that it's really simple but looks nice. IPVanish has an interactive map and a server list, which you can filter by proximity and latency metrics. This helps you choose the closest server to your location because that's the one that'll offer the best speeds. And then there's the feature side menu on the left side. But before we get into the nitty gritty of features in this IPVanish tutorial and review, let's see what security measures the provider takes to keep your data safe. First, IPVanish has undergone an independent audit to confirm its no logs policy, meaning that the provider does not store any of its user data. Don't get me wrong, this is great, but the audit was conducted in 2022, so I think it's time for a new one soon. Anyway, IPVanish uses both industry standard and cutting edge encryption methods and protocols like WireGuard. Kill switch is another security measure that the provider implemented, which is a must for any reputable VPN. This feature prevents your IP address and other data from leaking if the VPN connection drops. The only con in my view is that IPVanish's jurisdiction is in the US, which is not the best for VPNs because the country is part of the data sharing Five Eyes Alliance. However, I completely trust IPVanish due to its verified no logs policy and features, which we'll go through next in this IPVanish tutorial. Starting with the on-demand feature, which is a standout for me. Without having to lift a finger, it automatically connects me to the VPN if certain requirements are met, like if I'm using public Wi-Fi or when I'm connecting to specific websites that require a VPN connection. Or alternately, I can leave the on-demand feature on all the time, which means that I'll be connected to the VPN at all times, maximizing my safety online. Split tunneling is another great feature to use, since it lets apps or websites of my choice bypass the VPN connection altogether. So for example, if I'm browsing the web with the VPN connection, connection enabled and want to access a service where a VPN is prohibited, like my bank account, I can seamlessly do it without turning the VPN off. Next is traffic obfuscation, which makes the IPVanish VPN connection look like normal internet traffic. This can be crucial for websites that have firewalls in place to prevent users from connecting with a VPN. And the last of our basic features in this IPVanish guide is threat protection, which blocks ads, trackers, and malicious websites. So not only will your data be protected with a VPN connection, but you'll see fewer ads and no malicious websites. But wait, what about the extra features that come with the advanced subscription? Are they any good? The Secure Browser is a unique tool that creates a disposable browsing environment in the cloud. Simply put, it means that if you accidentally download a malicious file, like a virus, it'll be contained within the cloud and your device won't be affected. I like this feature because it adds an additional layer of security to my browsing experience. Then there's the cloud backup, which lets you save and share up to one terabyte of files and recover any of them in case of data loss. It works seamlessly so you can share your file anywhere you go and it's protected with end-to-end -end encryption too. Overall, IPVanish has all the basic VPN features you'd expect, but the advanced features lack the depth compared to the other options out there in the market, like Surfshark. Since we covered IPVanish VPN features, what about the performance and use cases? Is IPVanish up to par with other industry leaders? In our IPVanish speed test, we connected to servers in the US, UK, and Japan, and then compared the results with NordVPN and Surfshark. As you can see, IPVanish's speed is decent, but it does trail behind the top VPNs. But 
do the lower speeds actually impact streaming and browsing performance? First of all, IPVanish managed to unlock all major streaming platforms, which is not weird given that IPVanish lets you connect to over 100 countries and has over 2,400 servers. But it did struggle with Hulu and Amazon Prime. Which brings me to my next point. IPVanish does not have specialized servers for streaming, meaning that you'll probably need to change servers to get some of the services to work. It's not a big deal, but it can impact the experience for some users. Other than that, shows stream smoothly without interruptions. Cool, but what about torrenting? IPVanish is very convenient for those seeking to utilize P2P, as all of the provider servers support this type of traffic. So in my book, IPVanish's speed is more than enough for both streaming and torrenting. Lastly, if you're wondering how to use IPVanish in real life scenarios, let's put IPVanish to the test for the last time today with a common use case, getting cheaper flight tickets. To get cheaper flights, we need the seller to think that we're in another country so different prices are shown. Sometimes just connecting to a VPN won't accomplish this, since your real IP address could be cached in your browser. Solving this is easy though, because I can easily clear the browser cache or access the seller's website via incognito mode, like I'm showing on screen right now. So with that out of the way, did I succeed? I did, although it did take a couple minutes to set up. And we're done pressure testing the provider in this IPVanish review and tutorial. By the way, if you'd like to get IPVanish even cheaper than usual, click the link in the description to get the best discount available to start protecting your data today. So what are my final thoughts after this IPVanish review? Is it the best VPN 2025 option? So the pros are ease of use across all devices, unlimited simultaneous connections, pricing, and a decent amount of servers. All of these positives make IPVanish a good VPN provider. However, in my opinion, it's not the best one yet. IPVanish has some cons too, namely its US jurisdiction and lack of additional features. Having said that, in my opinion, IPVanish is a good provider, especially for beginners, so I can recommend it pretty easily. Its performance is good, it's simple to use, and most importantly, it's affordable. So I can easily put it on my list as one of the best VPN providers. If you enjoyed this guide, make sure to subscribe to our channel and check out the next video you see on screen. See you in the next one.